and welcome back to the Heads Not the Tails. I'm Brother Christopher. And going into the Word of God today, I want to go over Psalm 118 with you. Psalm 118. And I'm reading out of Charles Stanley's Life's Principle Bibles. For those who don't know, it's a great study Bible. You know. And uh, Psalm 118, very interesting. Let's get into it here. So, starting with verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. For His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, His mercy endures forever. I called on the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord for me among those who help me. The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I shall see my desire on those who hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They surrounded me like bees. They were quenched like a fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. You pushed me violently that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go through them and I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous shall enter. I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Save now I pray, O Lord, O Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, and he has given us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, I will exalt you. 
Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. And that was Psalm 118 right there. He says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Ain't that so true? You know, God is so good. He is so good. Even when we're bad, He is good. You know, it's, He thinks outside of a world of ours. You know, we're in the box. He's outside of the box looking in at us. And He's also, at the same time, in us looking out at what we see with our eyes, because these eyes belong to the Lord. All eyes belong to the Lord. That's why you see the Illuminati using that eyeball like they're the ones watching all the time. But the Lord, all eyes belong to the Lord. And those same eyes will be used as a witness against you at Judgment Day. Psalm 118, what a powerful psalm here, you know, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there that really feel deeply about this psalm too, maybe you've been through a lot out in the world and you've come to learn who Jesus Christ is and you see that the Lord is good. You know, and he is. And, you know, he says, uh, where was it at? Chastened. You guys know what chastening means? It means like what a parent does when they're raising you, you know. They spank you when you do something wrong. They, they exalt you when you do something right. You know, that's how the Lord, uh, does his children, you know, he chastens us, so I've been chastened, I've been spanked left and right, you know, God probably got a special paddle for me, but, you know, God is good, you know, and I just thank God that he pulled me out of the world that I was in, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you feel the same way, and I just like to get on here and speak with you guys and you know let you see my face and see how I'm doing and I'd like to know how you guys are doing too you know God bless each and every one of you out there who have subscribed to my channel and is watching my videos you know it's all for the Lord it's all for the spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ because Saints, the Lord is on his, you know, he's at the door. He's already at the door. And he's just waiting right now for everyone to come and knock so he could answer it for you before he comes in. Because when he comes in, you know, he ain't, he ain't coming to play around. He's coming to, to judge, you know. He came in peace the first time and, you know, this, this next time he comes, it's going to be for judgment, you know. So, God bless you guys, you know. Uh, you guys are hanging in there with me, and I'm sorry for if I keep posting the, re the same videos over and over, but, you know, they get so far down my list sometimes, I just have to refresh them and get them back, back up there so you guys can see them. And... I don't know if you guys know this, I do all my videos off of my phone. So, I don't have a computer to, to work with or anything. I'm just using my phone for everything that I do. So, you know, it's not the best quality in the world, but I'm just trying to get the message across. And I used to just talk, but you know, I, I, I like making videos and giving you guys visuals to look at while you're listening to the Word of God, you know, and right now, especially right now, and that's why the Lord directed me to Psalm 118, because God says here, He says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, 
for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now say, his mercy endures forever. Notice he says, now, no matter what time frame you were living in, you know, people from the past when they read this passage, it was now. And now is now. You know what I'm saying? So let America now say his mercy endures forever. You know, let Las Vegas say his mercy endures forever. Let all the countries around us say his mercy endures for everybody that believes in the Lord Jesus. You know, it's, it's getting real, you guys, you know, and, you know, they're hollering peace and safety. And you know what our word of God says about when they holler peace and safety, that it's going to be on, that sudden destruction shall come upon us. So get ready, everybody. You know, I'm going to make a few more videos, you know, this is just to catch up with you guys. I love all of you, you know. Thank you for subscribing and taking part in the heads, not the tails. God bless each and every one of you. Remember, if God can use me, he can use you too. In Jesus' name, amen.